everybody hope you're having an awesome day i know i am um, it's a great day so um if you're new to the channel welcome uh if you've been returning um welcome again too as well i really really appreciate you coming back and seeing more um if you're new though hey if you're interested in weight loss weight loss tips uh, recipes um just general information on how to lose weight, how I've done it, and things that have worked for me, um, things that can help you break stalls, things that can uh, help you get over that plateau. Um, this is the channel. Hit that little subscribe button down there. Hit that little bell icon next to it. And most, most importantly is that you smash that thumbs up button, right? So thumbs up tells YouTube that people like my channel that are watching it. So it would really, really be greatly appreciated if you hit that thumb up, thumbs up, right? So, so it seems like uh, today I'm going to do something pretty simple, something I've been wanting to try just because I see so many people out there doing it. Um, I see Wendy over at uh, Loving It on Keto. I see Janet doing it on her channel. I see Shelly doing it on her channel. Um, I know she, today she made a, an angel food cake out of this, this, this kind of this recipe or close to it. Um, and then um, I've seen a couple of others that have done it. Um, I know the original recipe that I found was came, comes from Maria. Um, from her website and I'll, I'll put the link down to her website it's called mind body health um, so it's the, you know it's a uh, mindbodyhealth.com uh, or maria mindbodyandhealth.com so um, I'll put that recipe down there below so go down there and you can check out hers now I did change this recipe just so you know so my recipe um, that I'm gonna post will be different than what she posted on her original recipe right so um, but we're gonna try it. So we're gonna make some protein sparing modifying fasting bread or some protein sparing modified bread, right? So um, I wanted to make it just because the macros are so good. Everybody kind of talks about how good it tastes. So I wanted to try to put my spin on it and uh, uh, see how I came out with it, see if it's good or successful or not. So, um, so that's what we're doing today. It should be a fairly quick and easy recipe. It's not really long. Um, not really complicated either, so it should be really easy. I'm just going to make the basic bread recipe. This is the first time I've ever made it, first time I've ever attempted to make it. Like I said, I'm going to switch out a little bit just because I'm hoping it will work. Um, it will hopefully, for those that have talked about the cost of it, it, it can greatly reduce your cost of it as well. So I'm hoping that, uh, that it will work and you'll like it. And uh, most importantly, we will like it. So, um, so let's get started. So it's going to be really, really simple. All it is, is I'm going to use 12 egg whites, and I used um, a, an egg white, um, liquid egg white that I used. This comes from Sprouts. It's the uh, pasteurized. Don't get the ultra pasteurized. From what from what Wendy was saying on her channel was that the ultra pasteurify doesn't whip up very good. So I'm going to try this one. All I'm going to do is pour that in a bowl. If you do use regular eggs, save the egg yolks. You can make them into a bunch of other things. You can make them into mayonnaise. You can make it into all kinds of other stuff. Um, I know bagels and all kinds of stuff. So um, this is powdered allulose. I don't have any powdered allulose. So, so what I did was I took it and I made some. So I put it in my Ninja Bullet. I whip it up and make it into a confectionery um, powdered sugar. So I'm going to put that in there. That's a quarter cup of that. Again, if you want to save some money, don't buy the confectionery stuff. Make it yourself. It's so much easier, so much cheaper. So then I'm going to put in a, a quarter cup of cream of tartar. So I have a, I mean a half a half, a, yeah, half a teaspoon of the cream of tartar. I only have a quarter teaspoon, so I, uh, I, uh, half a teaspoon got sucked down into my. Uh, into my garbage disposal got eaten up a little bit so uh, so um so it really all the cream of tartar does is just help stabilize the egg whites in there when we're whipping them so and then we're just going to put a little bit of salt in here so i'm going to put some pink himalaya salt in it again it says about a half a teaspoon i believe it is uh, yeah about a half a teaspoon i'm just gonna throw some in here and i'm not measuring it out so that's all the ingredients that goes into this thing. Now I'm gonna put it in here. We're gonna whip this up um, for until it has very stiff peaks. We want very, very stiff peaks on it. 
So we're going to whip that up to those very stiff peaks. That will take about 10 or 15 minutes to do that. Um, so that's why I got the hand mixer, the thing that holds the hand mixer out here, the whole mixer out, and uh, and we'll see how that goes. So um, I'm going to start it. Um, I'm sure you don't want to wait around for it. I know you're not sure you don't want to wait around for it. So I'm going to pause the video here. I'll come back and show you what the stiff peaks look like, and we'll go into the next steps once we get to that point. All right. All right. I think uh, we're done whipping our. Uh, Eggs to peak. This is what it should look like. You can see that it's sticking to the spoon pretty good. And that's kind of the consistency we're looking for. So um, now what we're going to do is we're going to actually continue to mix this a little bit. Um, we're going to add in the original recipe calls for um, egg white powder, protein powder. But instead of using that, I'm going to use this uh, IsoPure Zero Carb uh, protein powder, um, just because it's it's um, I'm going to say it's about half the price of the egg whites. The egg white works out to be I think I figured it out. Hold on a second, I wrote it down somewhere here. About a dollar eighty-seven an ounce, um, and if you buy the IsoPure and then you buy it in a three-pound container. I use it for making ice cream and I use it for a bunch of different products and stuff. This is the unflavored one. I also use the flavored one for uh, um, for my protein shakes that I take to me to work and stuff of that nature. Um, I really like the zero carb uh, protein powder. It's, it's really, really good. I do have the links down below um, if you're interested in looking at them. They come in a lot of different flavors. I've had the cooking and cream one that was pretty good. I'm having the chocolate one right now. The vanilla one was kind of plain for me. They have a strawberry one that's really good. So um, they'll go down there and check them out. If you want protein powders, again, like I say, you're going to add them into uh, shakes. You can add them into the breads. You can add them into just about anything that you're baking with. The unflavored one is really, really, really good. So um, so hopefully this works. Like I said, so this is going to be my replacement for the, uh, the protein powder. So we're going to put this on low. And we're going to put that in, in the mixer now. Again, if you wanted to put vanilla or something like that in to give it a little bit of a different taste or something, I suppose you could. Now I'm going to stick these with the unflavored. And we're going to wait until this all mixes in. Make sure it gets off the side. Once it's all mixed in, we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. So this looks good. It, it, it mixed up really well. Um, I'm going to take these beaters out. I'm going to put this plate out of the way, the isopure protein powder out of the way. Again, check out those Amazon links down below. Like I say, a lot of this stuff that you see me cooking with and stuff is down there, so go check them out. Um, now, so I'm going to take I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to spray it in the bottom of the pan. All this does is just really helps to hold the, uh, the parchment paper down. I'm going to use parchment paper, so it's kind of like helps stick it to the bottom, so it doesn't move around a whole lot. And then we're going to pour this in. So I'm using a 9x5 baking pan. So 
So this is what it looks like. So you can see what it looks like. Now I did preheat my oven to uh, 325. We're gonna throw this in the oven for about uh, 30 minutes. Then we're gonna turn the oven off and we're gonna leave it in there for another 20 minutes. Otherwise it will fall from the videos and from the recipes that I've taken and looked at so far. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna take this and throw this in the oven. All right, so then we're gonna come back in about a half hour. We'll check it out. We'll look, see what it looks like uh, before we open up the oven. Um, again, if you open up the oven um, once it's baked and take it out, it will fall. So the idea is we don't want it to fall, so we're gonna leave it in the oven for 20 minutes after it's done baking once it's turned off. And it will continue to cook and, and rise and cool off as on its own. So um, I'll see you in about a half hour. All right, the 30 minutes is up. That's okay. The 30 minutes is up. I'm going to just show you real quick like what it looks like in the oven um, and then uh, and we'll wait 20 more minutes and then we'll take it out and take a closer look at it, alright? So there's a peak in the oven, what it looks like. It's kind of blown up. Looks pretty interesting. All right, so that's kind of what it looks like. Um, we're gonna let it cool, the oven cool for 20 minutes now. Um, and when it's done cooling, then we'll take it out and then we'll have to let it cool to, to room temperature before we, before we cut it and try to taste it. So um, it looks good so far. So let's see how it tastes and hopefully we'll see how it cools. So um, I do wanna just uh, mention, I know I forgot earlier, um, I was supposed to do a couple shout outs on this video. And I'm really, really sorry that I forgot to I'm going to do it now. Um, hopefully it's not too late in the video. Um, Keto Marna, um, she watches my videos quite regularly, comments, um, and uh, she's really, really crafty. She's a, a crocheter. Um, it's not really my realm or my niche, but she does a great, great job with all that kind of stuff. She makes some wonderful stuff, uh, tablecloths to st stuffed animals to all kinds of really, really fantastic, beautiful stuff. Um, so she really, really makes some stuff, and she's a keto person as well. So she goes through her daily blogs, what she eats, and stuff of that nature as well. Um, so if you're interested in uh, seeing what she's doing over there, I'll put a link down to her page down below. And uh, also Linda, and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna really mess up her last name. It's Hadlunden, uh, Hundland, uh, H H A D E L U N D. Um, so I'm trying to do this from memory, so um, I believe that's how you spell her last name. I'll put a link down to her page down below. Go down, check them out, give them some love, tell them you're here from my page so that they know that uh, they're getting some love from, uh, from the community. The bigger we grow the community, the more we can support each other and the better off it is. So, um, all right, I'll come back in a few minutes and we will take this little uh, piece of bread out of the, uh, the oven and Check it out. All right, here we go. We're gonna uh, take this out of the oven and see what it looks like. Oh, it looks like it fell. Oh no. It fell on me. Must be when I opened up the oven. I shouldn't have opened up the oven to peek at it, but that's what it looks like. So. All right, we're going to take this and we're going to put it on a, a cooking sheet. As soon as I get it out of here. See what it looks like, but it fell on me a little bit. 
I know they said if you opened up the oven or anything else, that it would uh, it would fall. So I guess they were right. That's what it looks like. So still looks like bread to me. So, so we'll let it cool a little bit more and then we'll do a taste test. All right, we're back for my favorite part of the video where we get to do a little taste test. And uh, first I'm gonna cut off a little piece of this. See how nice and white and fluffy that is inside? I'm kind of cut it at the very edge, I guess. So, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's better. Pretty funky looking bread, as far as uh, but uh, I'm gonna tear off a little piece of it. in it so give you my opinion of it not too bad it has a again I didn't put any flavor or seasoning in it or anything else so plain the the, the taste is very very plain so I think um like Wendy had it and uh, um, loving it on keto, where she put some yeast in it, so it made it taste it made it taste a little more, more like bread. But actually, it, it, the loaf came out pretty good, even though I uh, it fell a little bit. I think I opened up the oven door to check on it, and look at it, and and uh, play with it. And what I did after that, I think it the air got in there and caused it to fall. So next time I won't touch the oven. Um, next time I, I make it again. So um, again, this is really really good. I mean, this this is a good base to start with. Um, now I understand why people are eating it and liking it. So it's uh, definitely a, a good way to make a sandwich. Um, put something on it and toast it for breakfast. Make French toast with it. You can do a lot of different stuff with it. So um, really good. So real quick, like going through the macros on this. So one slice of this, I guess it depends on where you slice it and and all that stuff, but uh, the macros are on it. So if you divided it um, into this portions, um, um, equal portions, and one thin slice of it would be about 32 calories, like a bread slice width of it. I guess it was an eighth of an inch or whatever. Um, there's no fat in it whatsoever because it's all protein. Um, there's about seven grams of protein in it, which is really high. So um, for me, I track total carbs. So if you go to uh, some place like Costco or somewhere and you look at their bread, their total carbs is like 32 total carbs. So that's more than my daily allowance. So I could have a half a piece of bread today and a half a piece of bread tomorrow, and that's all I could have. Um, and also their bread, most store breads, whether it be Aldi's or Costco or whatever, is very uh, high in hydrogenated fats and that type of stuff. And for me, because I'm doing this really for health, not just weight loss, for overall body health, um, and a lot of that stuff can really build up fat around your organs and uh, in your stomach, and it gives you that little bit of a pot belly. Um, so I try to avoid that kind of stuff, so this is a good replacement for that. Um, it gets rid of all that hydrogenated fats and stuff of that nature. It's all those bad fats that you don't want, right? So um, they're in there. So something to think about, there's no fiber in it. Um, and the protein to energy ratio is seven. So if you're into that kind of stuff and you're looking at the P&E of these, of the bread, it's seven, so, um, which is really, really high. Um, so you eat a couple pieces of this and it, it gives you a good amount of uh, protein out of it. So um, I can understand why everybody's making them and, and uh, enjoying them. Again, I would probably, next time I make this, I probably would add some seasoning to it because it is kind of just a plain bread taste. Um, it's just a plain taste it doesn't taste real eggy to me which is i'm a little bit surprised with a little peanut butter on it, a little butter on it like i say toast it in the morning or something of that nature it'd be really really good so um not hard to make pretty easy to bake um just don't open the oven up and take a look at it while you're doing it so 
Um, so hey, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up, hit that little subscribe button, hit that little uh, bell icon next to it so when I release the next video that it comes out. Um, hey, if you can answer me this, and I know that I should have done it probably earlier, what hat was I wearing in my last in uh, Starbucks egg bite video? If you can tell me that in the comments on this video, um, I'll give you the first two, I'll give them a shout out. So try to make it a little harder for, for you guys to, uh, to get these shout outs. Um, I want you to work for them. So um, hopefully you like them. If you like them, give me a thumbs up. Again, looking for suggestions. What are you looking for? Do you want some more information about the keto diet, how to get over stalls, how to get over the plateaus? Are you looking for more recipes so that you can continue on your journey and make this a lifestyle and make it sustainable? Um, kind of let me know what you think. Um, you know, I uh, really, really appreciate it. I really appreciate you guys. You guys are wonderful. You're awesome. Um, you know, you are the, 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 the bomb, right? So, um, hey, have a great day. You guys are awesome. Remember that. Um, be positive. Try to smile. You know, always be good to others. Be good to yourself. And just remember to make the world a better place and a more healthier place, uh, both physically and mentally. And we will see you soon.